In the previous video, we went over a little bit of the backstory of Josiah, and we started to touch on how parallel uh, Josiah's journey is with Moses' journey. In this video, we're going to go over a little section I call Don't Forget Yeshua. How incredibly important the very beginning of salvation is, even though we're going to start talking about what happens when we mature beyond those first steps. We're going to be going over the Passover to reiterate and highlight how incredibly awesome it is when we first come to Yeshua. And we're going to start talking about the first steps of moving beyond that and maturing in the Spirit and the strengthening of the Lord, the strengthening that occurs beyond the Passover. I hope you enjoy this video. In the last video, I said that we were going to be talking about the parallels in this video. We're actually not. That's for the last video. So stick around for this video. And the, uh, the last video is coming up soon. Thank you for being here. You are learning about the strengthening of the Lord. Hallelujah, God's beloved. This leads us to the Passover, the very first step in any relationship with God. Throughout all history, from Adam to the end, any person who has come to God first has to be cleansed by the blood of the Lamb who was slain before the foundation of the world. The king commanded all the people to keep the Pesach to the Lord as it is written in this book of the covenant. Much like the Pesach that was kept after all of Egypt was destroyed, it's the same picture. Do you see it? Egypt gets destroyed. They were in full idol worship. They're starting to be reconciled to God. The same stepping stone in coming away from the same spiritual state. The correct step in the beginning of a relationship with God. Before the strengthening really begins, what Passover represents is the prerequisite or a foundation that the strengthening must have before the strengthening begins. Why? Because without the Passover, there is no being in God's presence and in relationship to him. Messiah's death and his bleeding for us is the sacrifice we need to be reconciled to the Father. And a monumental Pesach it was. So in recounting here, we have Josiah faithfully paying the rebuilders of the temple, which resulted in the finding of God's law, which resulted in the list of repentant deeds above. It sounds like the start to a new chapter for Judah, doesn't it? Unfortunately, the Pesach is where the goodness of this story ended. It all went downhill from there. But how? All the evil stuff was destroyed. Before we get to that, I want to reiterate this point, highlighting how incredibly important it is. How incredibly important Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is. Passover or Pesach is a literal event that signifies a spiritual thing. The first steps of anybody in a faithful relationship with the Lord begins with the Passover story. The death angel passed over the homes of the faithful who chose to put the blood on their doorposts and lintel. This literal event is a great sign that points to the reality of Yeshua's blood saving his chosen family from death so we can pass through the proverbial sea of reeds from Egypt, death, to the promised land, life. This video is teaching that there is a great deal of strengthening between Egypt and the Promised Land. This video is teaching that you cannot continue to lay the same foundation of Passover over and over again in order to get to the Promised Land. Therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Messiah, let us go on perfection. 
not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. Well, the Lord in his wisdom, grace, and authority found this generation Josiah's generation. Unworthy to stay the path, unworthy to progress, their hearts were not true. Nevertheless, the Lord did not turn from the fierceness of his great wrath, with which his anger was aroused against Judah, because of all the provocations with which Manasseh had provoked him. Because of this, Josiah, he was taken home to the Father, while Judah began a long journey of serving Egypt and Babylon for several decades. A heart-wrenching and sad ending to what would have been a triumphant story if only Judah did not fear and only had faith. Faith over fear is always the answer, my listener. Regardless of the spiritual state that you are in, small or great, faith over fear, my friend. Faith over fear. The lesson here is that progression is needful. And this video's focus is that strengthening is indeed part of progression. A one-time turning is not enough. God's desire is for us and he wants us unified under his name and daily making progress away from Babylon and Egypt, but much more importantly, towards the promised land, life, as individuals and as a community. If you're interested in a further personal study, allow me the honor of directing a portion of that study. The story of Josiah echoes distantly some of the same lessons we learn in and around the incident of the golden calf. But those studies are for another time. The entire Israelite journey from Egypt to the Promised Land is one large and prime example of the nature of the strengthening of the Lord. This strengthening, God knew, Josiah's generation would not abide in. He tells us to abide in his love, right? They would not abide in his love. It would have been fruitless, vain work for the Savior. God's strengthening is a small piece of the overall puzzle indeed, and it is a quite necessary piece the beautiful and fulfilling mosaic that is the sanctification of God's people. God wants to sanctify you. It's God's desire to sanctify you. So as we transition from Josiah's tragic story to the Israelite story of triumph, let's look at Moses. In Egypt, the people were surrounded Hey people, in that video we really harped on the fact that strengthening is needful. We started talking about the Passover and we made sure that we understood how incredibly important it is to begin a relationship with the Savior so that we know that we are not minimizing the importance of the Passover, of the blood on the doorposts, of the, uh, of the Lamb washing us clean of our sins so that we can progress towards God. In this next video, we really start to dig into the parallels between Moses' journey and what could have been Josiah's journey and the reason why Josiah's journey didn't take place. And I'm going to implore you to see that it's because the people God knew would not allow themselves to be strengthened.